Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Ariel Arapa and I upload videos about me and about Jigsaw Puzzles every Tuesday 6pm Philippine Standard Time. So if you are into that, make sure to click that subscribe button down below because I am here for you every Tuesday. For today's video guys, we are not only going to review a jigsaw puzzle but I'm also going to share to you guys my tricks and tips on how to assemble puzzle quickly. I just have to say that I am not a puzzle master yet, I am not a puzzle expert but these are just my, you know, just some tips or like tricks that I do when I assemble my jigsaw puzzles. Um, I just noticed that if I do these things, it just makes me finish the puzzle quickly. Anyway guys, for today's video, we are going to do this Deep Forest Elk, a 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Um, this is actually an off-brand puzzle, so I have no high expectation for this one. Uh, I only bought it for like 350 pesos or like 7 US dollars at Shopee. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description box below if you are interested, so you can also check it out. They have actually a uh, various of design. Um, but I choose this one, the Deep Forest Elf, because I just, I don't know, I just like the design. Anyway guys, let's just go ahead and see those puzzle pieces. Before we review the puzzle pieces guys, I just want to show you the box. Look at that. I, I actually really, really like the box, especially because it just have a plain white at the back. It really, really looks classy and cute. And it is also a very, very sturdy box for a 350 pesos jigsaw puzzle. It's actually a very very sturdy box and they actually have a lot of they have a few puzzle dust as well don't know if you can see but there there are a few puzzle dust but yeah anyway let's just let's review the puzzle pieces now there are the puzzle pieces guys i actually just finished sorting them out and i just use my um, puzzle boxes because i don't have a puzzle tray but anyway, as you notice, the puzzle pieces have a letter marks on their back. As you can see, this is actually very, very common for a off-brand puzzle, or especially those puzzles that came from China. It is very common to have a letter marks on their back. Here is another puzzle. Um, if you can see, the printing is actually not that bad. So it is not the best, but it's actually really, really not that bad. Um, it is not blurry or pixelated, but it kind of looks like faded. Maybe they can enhance the color more. I don't know. But yeah. Also, the cut of these puzzle pieces are actually not that bad as well. Though it is not very smooth, but it's not rough as well. They just have the standard jigsaw puzzle tiles, guys. The shapes are just normal, no odd looking. And yeah. For a 350 pesos puzzle, this is actually not that bad. It's actually really, really good for its price. So now guys, I'm going to show you how I do my puzzles, especially these kind of puzzles that have letter marks on their back. As you can see, I sorted them out according to the letters at their back. Here's the pile for E, F, um, C, B, and the rest of the letters. And I also have another pile for the borders according to their letters as well. So now we're just going to start with the letter A. So here are the puzzle pieces guys with the letter A at their back. Um, all we are going to do now is we're going to organize them. So just like this one, we're going to flip it properly. So A face down, this one face down, A face down. And yeah, we'll just basically do this to all the puzzle pieces. So we can know the, the orientation of the puzzle pieces as well. This is for us to figure out or to know the orientation of the puzzle pieces. So yeah, I'm just going to do that to the rest of the puzzle piece and we can start assembling this puzzle.
is what it looks like guys after flipping all the puzzle pieces um, when you flip the puzzle pieces make sure that the letter mark at the back all the letter mark at the back are on the same orientation see they're on the same orientation and when you flip the puzzle pieces over guys make sure that you also organize them according to their shapes so here is the vertical two in two out puzzle pieces here is the horizontal two in two out puzzle pieces the edges and the you know three in one out puzzle pieces and this way when you organize them you can just easily find the puzzle pieces that you are looking for so now i'm going to start assembling the puzzle pieces i'm just going to start with the edges just like any other puzzle that i do i always start with the edges and yeah we can now start doing this and then the rest of the puzzle pieces let's go Here is my progress so far guys, I just finished all the 6 sections of the puzzle. So now what I am going to do is I am just going to connect all of this puzzle, all of these sections. And if you notice that there are gaps between them because I actually, when I sorted the puzzle pieces I actually have another pile for the in between puzzle pieces just like this. Like these are in between puzzle for pile C and pile B so I actually have another pile for that so yeah we're just going to connect this puzzle and we're going to put the in between pieces and we're now about to finish this puzzle so i just finished doing the puzzle and it took me six hours to finish this one and i think that is actually a very very impressive feat for a 1000 pieces jigsaw puzzle and even if there is a letter marks in the back i think it is still impressive for me because again i'm not a jigsaw puzzle expert yet i'm not master in this craft yet um, i just actually started doing puzzle last year during the lockdown so i think that time is actually very very impressive Anyway guys, the puzzle actually is really really beautiful. I love the design. If earlier I said that the color was fading, I am gonna take it back actually with the the yellow the color yellow is very very vibrant, I think. And I just love the printing actually. It's very very 
the design it's amazing it almost looks like it can be somebody's special nose you know harry potter geek whatever but yes i again i just really really love the design they actually fit as well and they interlock as well though not very though you don't you can't hear the you know click sound when you put the puzzle pieces together but they actually really not really but they fit and interlock well i guess of course this is just a 350 pesos puzzle so the quality is not that high but it is a good quality decent quality so i guess for that price it is very very much worth it again i'm going to put a link on Again, I'm going to put a link in the description box below if you are going to, if you want to check the shop that I bought it. I forgot the name. I'm just going to put it here. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below your thoughts about this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. See you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.